Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting CCRI and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team game officials, and each other before, during, and after today's game. And now for tonight's starting lineups. First, with the visiting CCRI Knights. Number three, Olivia Battison. Number four, Tatiana Correa. Number 13, Jada Littlejohn. Number 24, Valeska Kelly. And number 25, Catherine Raposa. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard number one, Sarah Seguin. At forward number 20, Stephanie Oliveira. At guard number five, Taylor Sanala. Sanala. At four, number 33, Mackenzie Thompson Johnson. And at guard, number 24, Katia Luna. Bristol Community College is coached by Serge Moniz. Hey, good evening, everybody. As we're broadcasting live from Bishop Colony High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, the site of today's NJCAA Region 21 matchup as the uh, visiting CCRI Knights visit the Bristol Community College Bayhawks in this brand new edition of Bayhawks basketball. I want to welcome in our live street audience here on Facebook. And the Bristol Community College Bayhawks will get ready to tip here against the uh, CCRI Knights. All right, number five, Talasanala will get ready to tip off against number 24, Valeska Kelly. All right, welcome in, everybody. Happy holidays. Christmas season in full bloom. Three-point shot right off the tip is good, and it's sunk by number... Those, those numbers are going to be tough to read on that green. I think that was Tatiana Correa. Katia Luna going to the hole. Had her shot partially blocked, and then CCRI with a turnover going the other way and laying it in for the Knights is number 25. Catherine Raposa for two, and just like that off the bat, it's 5 nothing. That previous shot by CCRI was a three. Driving to a right, Mackenzie Thompson puts it up. No good. And they're going to call travel. Bristol Community College only with six players today. As they sit back in zone. In the corner, three-point shot. It's short, tipped up. Loose ball. CCRI comes up with it, and they're going to call steps. They're going to call steps on Jada Littlejohn. Again, welcome everybody to Bishop Conley High School, home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Bayhawks have yet to win. The Lady Bayhawks have yet to win a game on the young season. And this is the final game before the Christmas break. And they're going to call a jump ball there. And they're going to keep it in the possession arrow. They're going to keep the possession arrow in favor of the Bayhawks. Oh. 
on the inbound pass. Loose ball. That ball was blocked. CCRI looking to push. Going to the hole strong and laying it in is Jada Littlejohn for two. And it's 7 0 Knights early on. Community College of Rhode Island and the dark green. Your Bristol Community College Bayhawks in their traditional home uniforms, white with the green lettering, with the green trimming and green lettering. Katia Luna, that's her shot, takes it in, top of the key, short, way short, not a bounce. Be nice basketball. We have a double header here tonight, so for y'all tuning in right now to the Facebook live stream of Bayhawks basketball presented to you by FR, FR Media. The men's Bayhawks team will be in action tonight at 8 o'clock, and they'll be facing the Community College of Rhode Island, too. Versus Community College men's team, the ninth-ranked team in the country for the NJCAA Division Three. They'll be in action tonight trying to avenge a loss. Their first loss of the season they had Tuesday night when they played Bunker Hill, who was the seventh team in the country. Katia Luna goes all the way to the hole. Too strong. Going back the other way are the Knights and laid it in for a couple more points. And that was Jada Littlejohn. Jada Littlejohn. Has six points early on. Katia Luna going to have to step up for Bayhawks tonight. Knights in zone. Luna backing in. Good job of using her pivot foot. And they're going to call three seconds. They're going to call three seconds on Talos And it's going to be Knights basketball. Bayhawks turn the ball over again. Taking it in. Kicking it back out. Deep three. And it's good. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot there by Tatiana Correa. Oh, Luna telegraphs that pass. Going back the other way is Little John. And she'll put in two more. 14 nothing early on here in the first quarter. 6.20 to play. We're just starting here. Bayhawks doubleheader. Luna, deep from three, heaves it. Oh, drains it. Katia. Wow, that was a deep three. She looked like Kyrie Irving last night. Kyrie Irving pulled up deep from three last, last night against... Oh, that, that shot's coming off. Against the Wizards. That's what that shot rem reminded me of. The confidence to take that shot way out there. Now that defense coming out in Katia Luna. She'll pull up, she'll pull up from anywhere. She's going to have to be huge tonight. Here it is again. Katia Luna for three off the rim. Olivia Battison the play, with the pass. With the pass to Catherine Raposa for two more, and it's 16-3. to three. At least we won't see a shutout here tonight. Five minutes to play here. Good ball movement. Luna for three. Online. Can't connect. Loose ball on the floor. Knights will come up with it. Little John with the basketball. Bayhawks fall back in zone. Knights off to a big lead already. They'll dump it in. Nice bounce pass there. The reverse lay in. Attempt no good. The follow. by Valeska Kelly, and she'll go to the line for two. Good ball movement there in the interior by the Knights. Raposa just couldn't connect on the um, 
Reverse lay and attempt. Kelly got the offensive rebound, got fouled on the re on the uh, on the putback attempt. That's why she's at the line. Both teams with one team foul. First free throw is missed. That's a unique kind of uh, free throw routine. Second free throw is good, and it's seventeen to three. Good ball movement there by the Bayhawks. And they're going to call travel. They're going to call steps on Sarah Seguin. Bristol, unfortunately, only playing with six gals. We know their bench has been kind of limited due to some injury. There's a three-pointer by Korea. No good. Offensive rebound. And a kick back out. New shot clock. Whoa. Right back in Bristol's hands, Katia Luna with the steal. Well, dump it into Oliveira, stolen away though. Going back the other way. Oh, nice pass into the paint. The floater, the floater no good by Catherine Raposa. Knights move well. They they move the ball around well. They move well without the basketball. It could be trouble for the Bayhawks here tonight. Luna way off. Another rebound by Little John. Gets it into the hands of the point guard, Korea. She does a good job moving the basketball. Finding people. Little John couldn't connect. I'm sorry, not Little John. Valeska Kelly. Kelly for three. It's good. 20 to 3. I'm sorry, that was not Kelly. That was Jada Little John. Got Jada Little John, Jada Little John and Valeska Kelly are like twins out there. All right, we have some substitutions on the floor. Twenty to three. Knights with the lead. Coming up on two minutes and thirty seconds of play. There's a shot, no good. The rebound, Robert Raposa. It's good. Raposa hasn't had a bad. She, not a bad first quarter for her. Twenty-two to three. Luna crosses over, gets into the paint. And she's going to get the she's going to draw the foul. I like to see her do that a lot more. I think a lot of time I think a lot of time Katya Luna settles for the outside, the deep outside shot. But she's been doing a better job of using her up fakes and getting that ball in there closer to take a shorter jumper, a more high percentage shot. I'd like to see her take it to the take it to the rack more. And Luna will sink the first free throw. Because teams are starting to respect her. They're starting to respect that that outside shot of hers. There it is. Gets her own rebound off the miss. Free throw. Too strong off the backboard. Knights with it. 22 to 4. They'll dump it in. And they're going to call steps. So Bristol finds themselves in a hole again with a huge uphill battle here. We'll see if they can uh, cut into this lead here before the end of the first quarter. Luna picks up her dribble. And another travel violation. So many, so many pointless, careless turnovers for Bristol. I think that's why a lot of times they find themselves in a hole before they can even look up. Three-point shot, Raposa coming off, no good. Rebounded by the Knights. 
New shot clock. Crossing over. Nice move into the hole. No good. Offensive putback is no good. Another attempt no good. And the Bayhawks finally come away with it. Katia Luna coming up on a minute to play here in the first quarter. Get to move that basketball. Katia Luna really the only offensive threat out there. Luna for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Raposa. They'll dump it in. Oh, errant pass. Errant pass by Little John. And the Bayhawks will come away with it. Katia Luna's been the quasi point guard for this Bristol team. And they're going to call another travel violation this time on Luna. Man, oh, man. Thirty seconds to play here in the quarter. Three point shot. It's good. Rainbow three by the Knights. By the Knights number one there. Twenty five to four. Katia Luna. Turn around. Jumper way off. Talsanala. Turned around and just kind of heaved that ball to the basket. Didn't set her feet. And somehow they're saying it's Bristol basketball. They're going to say it's off the Knights. Inbound. Shot way off. And that's going to end the first quarter. And that's going to end the first quarter. 25-4. to four. The Community College Rhode Island Knights have the lead here at the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back with second quarter action after this. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, we join you here in progress, here from Bishop Conley. Bayhawks home basketball season greetings. Welcome to the 12 days of Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. We're counting down, and this is the last game. Last games before the winter break. We'll resume in January for Bayhawks basketball. And the Lady Bayhawks looking to improve. They'll look to improve over the break, get some practice time in, regroup, and um, try to right the ship for the second half of the season, which will res resume in mid-January. Three-point shot, no good. Loose ball. That three-pointer by Kelly is no good. Oh, the rebound. And they might call a foul there. And they will call a foul. They'll call a foul on Talasanala. Her first, it looks like. We're just getting underway here in the second quarter. Three-point shot in the corner. Bounces up. Almost got the bounce. Getting her own rebound. Is number one. Door. Three-pointer. Tipped. And the Knights are just all over the offensive boards. Three-pointer again. It's good. Sunk. Sunk by Door. Number one. 28 to four. Boy, the Knights don't give up on their. They don't give up on the offensive boards. They get second and third opportunities. Luna doesn't square up. The three is way off. Looking to push. 
Looking to push and go back the other way like a freight train. Puts it up way hard off the glass. The offensive rebound. Score it. Valeska Kelly, number 12, Northrup. She was going down like a, like a bat out of hell. 30 to 4. Bristol, Katia Luna from deep for three. Oh, that one almost went down. Couldn't get it to go home, though. Nice pass there by Northrup to Dorr. Too hard off the side of the backboard. Luna will catch it. Slows it down. Luna puts it up. Can't blame her. No good. Rebound. Ooh, too quick there. Too quick. Stephanie Oliveira had the right idea on the offensive rebound. I thought she kind of rushed it, though. She had a wide-open shot there in the paint. Little John swings it. Three-pointer by Northrop. It's good. Boy, it's raining threes here. The ladies in dark green. Raining threes, 33-4. to four. And there's going to be steps. Caitlin Silva will come in for Mackenzie Thompson Johnson. That's a long name. I imagine writing that in school. Color MTJ. Three pointer by Northrup. No good. And they're going to call a push off on Valeska Kelly. She'll she'll get the offensive uh, foul away from the away from the basketball while the ball was in the air. Seven minutes to play in the half. Bristol without their top scorer, Katera James, who was off to a good start during this young season. She's out with an injury. Bounce pass to Northrup from Littlejohn. No good. Another offensive rebound. Door has it. Swings it. Northrup for three. Six it. She's got like that line drive three-pointer. Not high rotation on it, but it's just nothing but net. Beautiful shot there. And great again, great ball movement by the Knights. Way to swing it to the open lady. Luna, deep three, high and off the rim. Little John pushes it up to Door. Door off the glass and in. And it is 38 to 4. Katya Luna's got to keep the ball moving, though. You can't pick up your dribble. And when she picks up her dribble, she's getting she's getting absolutely no help. Nobody's coming to the basketball. MTJ will come in. Stephanie Oliveira will come out for the Bayhawks. Ball knocked away. Northrup for three. Gets it to go again. That is her spot. You got to take that away. Where are the adjustments? Come on now. You're going to let her sit there all day, shoot three pointers. Come on. Kyle Sanala. Ooh, puts that up. I'm sorry, Sarah Seguin with the bat with the shot. 41 to 4. Almost halfway through this quarter. Three-pointer. They're just raining threes out there. That one, that one off the mark. God, if this one gets any worse, I'm gonna be singing Christmas carols over here. It'll be the Dave Cardoza show. AKA Lawrence Welk. Oh, nice pass inside. To Little John with a nice pass aside, but Tatiana Correa couldn't connect. Luna at the top of the key, swings it. Got to get something going towards the basket. Luna puts the runner up, and it's good. She can do that. 
Katia Luna with the little runner. And it's 41 to 6. She has all six. She has all six of the Bayhawks points. Dumped in. Korea kicks it back out. Kelly at the top. No good. <laughs> Substitution. Door will come out. Number three. Olivia Battison will come in. Oh, nice. Oh. Good job by Sonala to get her hand in there. But the Bayhawks got beat on that inbound play. Nice defensive play to save face by Sonala. Inbound pass. Oh, you got to get the position. Mackenzie Thompson couldn't get position on Korea. Korea sneaks in and gets in front of Mackenzie to score two. And it's 43-6. to six. You get to do more than just play catch on the perimeter. 15 on the shot clock. Seguin goes to the hole. No, nothing doing. Got that stuff blocked. Three pointer, and it's good. Got nothing but net. These girls can shoot. Olivia Battison for three, and it's 46 to six. That ball is not even going near the rim. That is all, all net. Splash. 40-point lead by the Knights. Katiolana for, Katiolana for three. And that just pops out. Pushing it the other way. Nice pass. Gets it underneath. Northrop. Can't connect. Under three minutes to play in this one. In the first half. Excuse me. Again, stay tuned for the Bristol Community College men's basketball team. Luna tried to get in the paint with a runner, and he got it blocked. I don't like the dark numbers on the dark green jerseys. Kind of hard to pick up. Not a fan. I think we get a timeout Bristol. And with that being said, 2.40 to play, 46-6. to six, The CCR at Knights got a huge lead. Bayhawks have a lot of work to do. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college. But with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom- right, We're back in action. David Cadoz are on the call. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for Bayhawks basketball. And the Knights will turn the ball over. Traveling call on Little John. And the Knights have just been beating Bristol. I mean, they've been beating Bristol to the open, open 50-50 balls. They've been, they've been shooting it from the outside. They've been out hustling uh, the Bayhawks here tonight. Mostly I've been more impressed with just the shooting, the shooting ability of the Knights. I mean, they have they have a few shooters, aggressive shooters. And that that interior pass is stolen. Going back the other way, Raposa flips it up there and score it. <laughs> Little John with a nice long pass there to her teammate effortlessly, and it's 48 to 6. Got to get something going to the hole here. It's nice to pass, but you get a can't just play keep away, and that ball is going to go out of bounds. Another turnover for the for the Bayhawks. The loss of Katera James really hurts. Really hurts the Bayhawks. I mean, she's the primary ball handler. She's she can get to where she wants to go on the court. She can shoot the three, and with her and Katia Luna, Katia Luna kind of gives them a little bit of a dynamic duo. Those two can both score. 
Katia Luna does a better job, and that, that's another two points for the, the Knights. With Little John with another two points. Yeah, but just the loss of Katera James, even though she's a freshman, she's been their uh, most explosive offensive offensive threat. And Katia Luna does a lot better job of playing off the ball. Right now she's kind of have to be the primary ball handler. She does most of her dirty work off the ball, shooting from the perimeter. And that short jumper is missed by Raposa. She'll miss. They kick it back out. Deep three. That one's no good. And it's going to go over the backboard. It's going to be Bristol basketball. But, yeah, I think Katera James will see. We're not sure what the extent of the injury is, but she will see if she can heal up and come back for the second half of the season, see if BCC can steal a couple wins. You know, but Katia Luna's definitely been improving her offensive game. She's got all six points for Bristol today, had all 14. And that ball stolen into the passing lane. Madison with the easy, the easy lay-in. And that's the kind of day, that's the kind of night so far it's been for the Bayhawks. And we'll count down the final 20 seconds mercifully, mercifully for the, uh, for the Bayhawks. Probably can't wait to get into the locker room at this point and kind of regroup. Another loose ball. And again, when you only have six players, six active players, it can be it can be tough. And the coaches the coach isn't calling timeouts like you should. I mean, when you have that disadvantage, nice fake and a floater is no good by Raposa. Loose ball on the putback. It's good by Dorr, and that's at the buzzer. Didn't even realize it. All right, so that is your score at the half. At the half, 54-6. to six, The Community College of Rhode Island Knights have a lead over your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. We'll take this break and um, at the half, and stay tuned for second-half action of Bayhawks basketball here at Bishop Conley High School, live streaming on Facebook. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, at the half, we're getting ready for second half action. 54 to six, the visiting Community College of Rhode Island Knights have a huge lead over the Bristol Community College Lady Bayhawks. And Bristol will try to just do their best just to try to make this one respectable, try to go out there and give maximum effort and uh, just see what they can do. We'll see if Coach Serge Moniz has made any adjustments here in this contest. 54-6, to six, we're getting ready for second half action on this FR Media Presents telecast, live streaming on Facebook. And we are underway. Mackenzie Thompson with the basketball. Knights come out in 2-3 zone. Luna. Luna's got that quick fake and that quick first step at times. She can take it to the hole. They lob it in. And, and they're going to call a push off on Tala Sanala. And it'll be Knights basketball. So 54 to 6. Bayhawks will fall back in 2 3. Again, Bayhawks with only six players today. They're without their top scorer, Katera James. So they are down. Swinging it around the perimeter. Great ball movement by the Knights. Three-pointer. Way short of the mark. But loose ball. Not sure what Thompson was doing there. Another three-pointer. Loose ball on the floor. And a new shot clock by the Knights. Knights always aggressive. That jumper is good by Battison. Score it. Olivia Battison. Count two more for her. And it's a 56-6 lead. That ball knocked away. Good defense there by the Knights. Oh, nice pass. Nice bullet pass. They'll kick it back out. Three-pointer by Door. No good. Luna secures it. I think if you're Katia Luna, you need to 
kind of really take matters into your own hands. You know? And I think that's what hurts her trying to be the point guard right now. I think she needs to be off the ball. Mackenzie Thompson with a quick flip at the hoop. It's way off. Lunar underneath. Can't connect. Knight's doing a good job with getting into the passing lane and really just taking the ball away from Bristol. Swinging around the perimeter. Great ball movement. Getting through the defense is Door. And that one will go out of bounds. Fifty six to six. Bayhawks really been walking the basketball up. Luna. Jump step. And they're gonna call a foul. I think Luna has to do more of that, being aggressive going to the basket, trying to draw some of those fouls. She's a good free throw shooter. Like to see her get into the teeth of the defense and just be more aggressive and take it to him. Take it to the Knights right now. Thompson. Yeah. And there's another turnover. That ball sails out of bounds. And it'll be Knights basketball. Look at the Knights, though. Look at the ball movement. Look at the communication. Look at the girls moving without the basketball, nice and crisp. That three-pointer, no good. I think, I think Bristol just tired, too. Tough to play without substitutions. If you're Chris Serge Moniz, you got to be more creative of, of substituting. You got, you got to get everybody out of the game. Everybody needs a spell. So you're going you're to have to play a merry-go-round of, of substitutions. You got to use your timeouts wisely. I don't think that's being done to my estimation, but that's a three, that's a heave. But Katya Luna had no choice but to try to heave one, that, heave one up at the last second there. And it'll be Knights basketball. Oh, nice pass. Where's the defense? Caught Bristol sleeping. And that was a nice pass by Battison. Getting it to Korea for two. Nice heads up play there and caught the Bristol zone. Fast asleep. And Katia Luna will travel. Stephanie Oliveira will come in for Caitlin Sylvia. 58 to 6. Oh, nice quick step. Jumper in the lane. No good. Olivia Battison, number three for the Knights. She's quick. She's quick now. She's, she's a good passer. Knights have a good little squad. Luna, deep three, and it's nothing but net. Boy, she can nail that shot. You got to cover her way out there. Luna accounts for all nine points. Swing it around the perimeter. Three pointer is good. Three-pointer three pointer by Northrop, 61-9. Katia Luna had all 14 points in Bristol's last home game when they faced the Naval Academy last week. Luna lines up for three again, bounces up. And they're going to call White with the push. 
61 to 9. Wide open for three. Tipped up. One thing about the Bayhawks, they really, I mean, their perimeter, their perimeter defense has just been non-existent. I mean, Rhode Island, Rhode Island's getting a lot of open, open, just wide open looks from beyond the three-point arc. I mean, none of these three, a lot of these threes aren't even contested. Bristol going to do a good job at do a better job at getting out to the perimeter and ex extending that two three zone. Ooh, had a shot opportunity there. Looking to push is Pattison. Pattison directing traffic, gets it underneath. And looked like it was tipped by Sonala. Going to end up, end up back in the hands of Pattison. That rolls out, that three-pointer rolls out. All right, it's going to be Knights basketball. Madison underneath finds. Finds number 22. That's Faith Bullet. 63 to 9. Tatia Luna from deep to three. No good. And I think they're going to call that foul on the rebound. Looks like it's going to be on Talisanalo. That's going to be her third. And she needs to be careful now. She's in foul trouble with 3.48 to play here in the third quarter. Bristol can't afford to lose any more players. Bayhawks back in three, uh, two, three zone. Oh, nice fake. Raposa drives in, kicks it back out. They'll swing it to the top of the key, three-pointer. No good by Dorr, but the putback is there by Raposa. And she has another two, 65 and nine. Lowest point total for the Bayhawks this year has been 10. They lost their first game of the season against Massasoya, 111 to 10. Bayhawks trying to surpass that mark at least. As they trail by a wide margin. 65-9, inbound pass to Sanala, almost connected. I give it to Sanala, she does hustle. Tell us Sanala, number five for the Bristol. But Bristol just doesn't, they don't have any offensive magic right now, and that's what they need is magic. Korea was doubled, Raposa for three. Up for the rebound, man, Dorkin, sure, she hustles. Going to the basket and around the back. James trying to be fancy. Goes around the back and out of bounds through Bristol basketball. So if you're just joining us, the Knights have a huge lead. The CCRI Knights in dark green have a huge lead over the Bayhawks, 65-9. to nine. Coming up on two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Both teams have really stayed out of foul trouble. This hasn't been a, a whistle-blowing game. Haven't seen too many free throw attempts. Sylvia with the basketball, kicks it back out. Luna takes it in, elbow jumper is good. Boy, she can do that. She's got that quick little up fake and that quick first step to get around the defender. And she can nail that, that jumper from out there from the free throw line. Getting into the paint. He has little John. And boy, she's had a she's had a big game for the Knights, 67 to 11. All 11 points accounted for for Bristol by Katia Luna. Seguin, no good. Minute and a half to play here in the third. 
All right. They're going to call a timeout. Timeout on the floor. The Knights will take a timeout. And we're going to take a timeout here, too. 67 to 11. The Knights lead the Bayhawks. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college. But with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back everybody to Bayhawks basketball. Again, thank you everybody for joining us on the live stream. Our Facebook live stream on our Bristol Community College athletics page. You can watch all of our home Bayhawks games right there. Or on cable television, channel 95 on your dial on, a, on Comcast. Crossing over, kicking it back out to Korea. Coming off, rebounded by Stephanie Oliveira. Minute to play in the third. I guess we're just resting up for the men's game. Coming up at 8 o'clock, live on our Facebook live stream. And live on cable. on our Fall River Access Station. <laughs> 17 on the shot clock, Korea. Oh, to a cutting Little John. Gets it between the defenders. Can't get it. Kicks it back out to Raposa. The jumper is no good. Tipped. Oh, nice save, nice hustle there. Oh, the lay into Raposa. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> that was a nice hustle there by Faith Bullet. Oh, Luna pulls up for three. At the buzzer, had a great look at it. Was right on line, but off, and that's it. At the end of three quarters, 69 to 11, the CCRI Knights with a huge lead over the Bayhawks. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for fourth quarter action after this. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. 69 to 11. The Community College of Rhode Island Knights with a huge lead over the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Last game here before the winter break. Season greetings to everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is going to be our last Bayhawks telecast of 2018. We'll be seeing y'all in the new year. Knights will turn the ball over, and it will be Bristol basketball. It's been a tough couple months here for the Lady Bayhawks. They have not recorded a victory here yet. Where they'll go into the winter break. Winter break, try to regroup, get some practice time in during these cold winter months as we turn to winter, and we'll be gearing up for second half action. And that's when it gets good. That's when it's going to get really good, especially on the men's side, being the ninth-ranked team in the country. And the men's team will be in action 
at 8 o'clock here tonight for their final game before the winter break takes place. And they'll look to uh, increase that, that win-loss record. Only one loss in the young season. Their first loss on Tuesday. Loose ball and the put the put in by Correa in the paint. And it's a 60-point lead for the Knights. But who's counting? I think for Bristol, you just need to show small, just small improvements. I mean, you have a good group of girls who hustle, try to put everything, put everything in into it that they can with what they with what they have. Because right now, with a couple injuries, right now they're kind of kind of reduced. So the stamina isn't always there. That three-pointer by Little John is coming off. Loose ball. But I think for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, you can appreciate the hustle and their enjoyment of the game and just putting in the effort, effort in that they are. There'll be a lot of teaching points for the next few weeks and I think that learning process never never ends. Hopefully they get Katera James back, their their leading scorer. It'll be a much better much better condition. And those both free throws by Korea. Tatiana Korea with two more for the Knights. Luna. Luna tosses it up for three. <laughs> and way off. That seems to be the only offense, though, though right now for Bristol. They got to figure something else out. Nice steal there by Luna. You know, Katia Luna, good player. She just can't do it all by herself. Needs help. Someone else has to step up and, and be more aggressive and be that that next go-to shooter, that next go-to person, somehow, some way. Number five, Talos Sanala will come in and tag out Stephanie Oliveira. Seven point forty to play in the game. Luna with the up fake gets it, gets through, and they're going to call steps. I'm telling you, she is great. That up fake works because she she will toss it up there from 30 feet. It doesn't matter. And she can nail that shot. So the defenders have to respect that. They have to get on her. And she seemingly fakes them out every time. I want to see her be more aggressive. That that shot going off the glass and in. And Little John continues to light up the scoreboard. She's been all world. But it's been a balanced attack for the Knights. I mean, it hasn't been just um just Jada Little John. The, role, the bench players off the bench, Dorr and Northrup coming off the bench, hitting threes, and Faith Bullet off the bench, number 22. Being a defensive presence out underneath there. and But also, Olivia Battison has been unbelievable. They'll get it inside, knocked away by Sanalo. Good hustle there. They'll kick it to the corner. The jumper, no good. Rebounded by Little John. Oh, she's been all over the boards today. Little John fades away in the corner for three. And gets her own rebound. Gets it to the paint. Determined. No good. And Sanala hustles, gets the rebound. So Little John had a few attempts at it. Great hustle by her, but wasn't able to connect. Ooh, that shot, no good. That defensive presence, that presence underneath there by Faith Bullet. 75 to 11. Korea for three. Underneath, loose ball, and it's going to be Korea following her own shot. 
And score two more for her. Under six minutes to play, 77 to 11. Ay, ay, ay. Katia Luna gets it blocked. Nice defensive play there by Korea. It will go out of bounds. And coming in, we got some substitutions here. Number one, Door. Number three, Olivia Battison comes in for the Knights. And also number 24, Valeska Kelly. New substitutions for the Knights. Sonala surrounded by trees. Oliveira, her shot comes up short. Three-pointer, door for three. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Little John. Not Little John. Valeska Kelly. Okay. Hatia Luna. Drives, goes baseline. Short. The floater is short. S tries to save it. Great hustle by Katia Luna. Apparently it went off a night. And we're winding down here. I feel like I'm on the back nine of Augusta. Tiger Woods on the par 312. Seventy-seven to eleven. Kind of sums up the Bayhawk season so far. This is what it's been. Hopefully, for their sake, it can improve. Jumper in the corner, no good. Rebounded by Faith, and she gets two. Offensive rebound. Got to appreciate her enthusiasm. Just the Knights, the Knights team just way more spirited. Luna lines up for three. Can't. There's just more life. I guess you'd have more life in you too if you were up 79 to 11. But they've had that spirit from the beginning of the game. They go inside to Kelly. And I believe, no, they're going to. They're gonna they're gonna inbound from beneath their own basket. The foul is on the reach in, not on the shot. The reach in foul on the entry pass. Kicking it back out, door for three, no good. Another rebound there by Faith. Kicks it back out, Battison. Boy, they just they 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 do not hesitate for they do not hesitate teeing up threes. That's for sure. They are not shy. Made a lot of them, too. Missed a lot of them, too. But they can afford to do that now up, up 67, 68. Under four to play. And Bayhawks just looking to wrap up this first half of the season. Oh, and Luna, the fake. I'm telling you, these other teams, they get up on Luna because they know that she's going to shoot. She's a good shooter. But they come at her, they come at her wild, not under control, and she can use that uptake to her advantage. Yeah, I think if you're Katya Luna, you can work on work on some dribble skills, work on a little crossover. You know. Because she's a good set shooter. She does do a good job of creating space with that up fake and She's done a better job at that, but I'd like, to see, I'd like to see her do a better job of getting to the hole. A three-pointer, it's good. Number 12, Northrup with that line drive three. And it is 82 to 11. Coming up on three minutes to play. In the game.
you know, Bristol, unfortunately, they are so one-dimensional. With Luna being the only real shooter, they're just so easy to defend because the other girls on the court are just passing the ball back and forth to each other. There's nothing, there's nothing really to defend. Three-point shot is off. They kick it back out. They're still shooting threes, and it's good. Another three there by Dorr. And it's 84 to 11. They might have called it on the line as they only give her credit for two. Oliveira kicks it back out. Katia Luna for three. Gets a friendly roll. And she has 14 again, all 14 points. Seems to be her favorite number at home. She's done that a few times. Just a couple times, all 14 points. I wonder who our Bayhawks player of the game will be. Hmm. That ball coming off. If you're still watching on our Facebook live stream, thank you. I'm not sure who paid you and I'm not sure what kind of bet you lost or whatever, but thank you very much for joining us. 86 to 14. Knights with two more. All right, they're going to call a move and pick there, I believe, on number 33. Away from the basketball, that's going to be on uh, Mackenzie Thompson Johnson. Oh, nice play by Sanala. Gets in there, gets a steal. Shoot it again. Come on, Luna. Put it up there. There you go. Jumper's good. Jumper from the top of the key. Luna's showing her skills. She has all 16 points for the Bayhawks. Coming up. Nice jump stop. Battison too hard off the glass. Door. You know she loves to shoot. And they're going to call a foul away from the ball on Katia Luna. And she'll be Faith Bullet will shoot two. As the Knights are in the bonus, that's the 15 foul. Like I said, we haven't seen too many free throws. And both, both teams really haven't been in foul trouble throughout the course of the game. First free throw off the glass. I don't think she called it. 87 to 16. Just 48 seconds to play in this one. Man, both shots going out that glass. That one way too hard. Let's go for 19. Come on, Katia. Shoot it. There you go. Three pointer. Way off. Katia Luna, just shoot it. I'm going to get some t shirts to say, shoot it, Katia. 87 to 16, 36 seconds to play. And that's it, the Bayhawks. We'll take a fall in another contest here. And the play and play and keep away the three pointer by Battison. That's a bad woman right there. 90 to 16. And that will do it. The final score from Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, the Community College of Rhode Island Knights. Take apart the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the Bayhawks first half of the season will come to an end.
And that will be it. Our Bayhawks player of the game will go to Katia Luna. All 16 points from Katia. On four three-pointers. So Katia Luna once again scores all the points for the Bayhawks. And that will do it. I am David Cardoza. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball in our second half of the doubleheader with the ninth-ranked team of the country, your Bristol Community College Bayhawks men's basketball team taking on the CCRI Knights.